It's Myrna. Myrna Marmalstein. And Halloween is coming up. And my husband, Artie, had the nerve to say, are we getting Halloween candy? I'm like, Artie, we live in a 55 and over community. We're not getting Halloween candy. I said, I did my civic Halloween candy duty for like over 30 years when we lived on Long Island. I don't have to get Halloween candy. What are some of the 55 and overs going to be delusional and want to like go trick or treating or something? And decide, hmm, suddenly we've refound our youth, the fountain of youth, and now we're going to go trick or treating? I'm like, if that's the case, I might as well get some sugar free candy. And he's like, well, you know, nowadays. Kids will do anything for candy, and they'll just drive over from other areas. I'm like, oh, jeez, okay, we'll get the Halloween candy. But I'm, like, pissed, you know? And my grandkids want me to come up to help them go pumpkin picking and go in a corn maze. And I'm like... Why do you have to drive out in traffic all the ways to get pumpkins when they sell them in the supermarket? Why? And they're like, oh, I don't know. They're like, I don't know. It's just fun. I'm like, fun? I can barely walk. How is that fun? And then lift the pumpkins and go in the dirt? I'm like... And then I'm like, and what's the point of a corn maze when everyone has phones and they could use ways to get out of the corn maze? What's the point of the corn maze and the hayride? I'm like, why don't you just watch a video of YouTube of what it's like to pick pumpkins and then get them at the supermarket? Or why doesn't your mom just buy the pumpkins, put them in the yard, and you can lift it up? Why do we have to go on a one-lane road for three hours to deal with this crap? And all we're doing is picking stuff out of a dirty field that's crowded. And fields don't belong to be crowded, the farms. They need their rest and their space and their freedom. Anyway, I'm so tired of this crap.